Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're over at Toy Fair New York, and we're gonna be going around, uh, well actually today we're going to the Funko booth. Tomorrow we're gonna be going around to a bunch of different booths and showing you guys what else is here. But first, let's go over to the Funko booth and see what's happening over there. All right guys, so we are now in the Funko booth. We're here with Sully, and uh, we're gonna be checking out all of the new stuff from Toy Fair 2020. I'm super excited about this. Um, but you wanna just dive into the first uh, little collection here? Absolutely. So this year at uh, Toy Fair, we broke it up a little differently than we normally do. Instead of having like one wall of all the new stuff, we broke it out into sections. And we started with movies. So in movies, you'll see a lot of things here on the shelf uh, that we've already had out, but we do have some new items that are sprinkled in, including Beast from A Quiet Place. If we call it a beast, I don't know what you call it. That's a great figure. Yeah. I thought it was Stranger Things at first. It kind of looks like a demon dog, but yeah. it's, it's A Quiet Place. And hopefully we'll see more in the season. And then over here, American Psycho, and I believe what is the chase, as well as Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which uh, a lot of people were asking for, super excited about that. And then over here, Harry Potter, because you can never have enough cats and owls, am I right? <laughs> uh, we're going with some 10 inch, like double door, and he who shall not be named. I, won't I say know it. his name. I won't I say You know that. Uh, and then an awesome movie movie, which when you look at it here on the shelf, it looks like it's got white in there, but that's just uh, because of the hand paint. Right. Eventually that's gonna be clear on the final product that'll go out. So are these figures made out of ceramic, and then later on they're turned more into the vinyl kind of figures? Some are. Like if you were to lift this, which it says do not touch, so I'm not going to touch it. No. Uh, it's very heavy. Right. It, they, they, it's some sort of ceramic or hard hard material, and then it's hand painted. Oh, wow. And so if I were to drop that, I may not be here next might, year. <laughs> don't, yeah. Careful. We don't want to do that. I'd like to be employed next I'd year. I'd like to see you here next year. There's another example back here. Uh, is that Hermione? That is. There you go. Now she would have the clear... That will eventually right. be clear, yeah. Of course. We did have a Ghostbusters last year where they were doing the uh, proton Yeah, I remember that, yeah. yeah. So that was clear in the final product. Uh, moving on down, we will go from movies to uh, TV. Oh, no, it's still movies, then music. Uh, <laughs> for movies, a bunch of stuff you've already seen, but then we've got some amazing new licenses like uh, Romeo and Michelle. Wow. His personal favorite, Fight Club. That's which a great one. Someone has moved around because this is not Fight Club. I don't know what happened to what was there. Tyler Durden was there. Here's the other Fight Club right here. There we go. There okay. he is. Oh, that is Ooh, now that is a heavy one. I don't want to break that. Exactly. So that's a hand paint. Right. And eventually the glasses there will be more rose color see through ah, than course. that red. Right. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw, Looks Fast great. Times at Ridgemont High, Animal House, Fantasy Island. Looks great. I'm doing all this without looking at the tags. <laughs> uh, and Smokey and the Bandit. Great. I mean, I'm old. I get Smokey and the Bandit. If you haven't watched it, you should. It's amazing. I haven't seen it personally, but I heard it's a great one. I, I don't know if it holds up. It probably doesn't, but it was fun <laughs> when I was a kid. Uh, moving on. Music. I tried to jump ahead earlier. Music yes. is one of our fastest growing categories at Funko. In the past, we didn't have that many licenses, but over this last year, we have really ramped things so up. So many great ones. And we, yes, we have some awesome stuff. Uh, Slayer, Motorhead, Police. Some of my favorites, Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson, which are already out of retail. But then we have this whole new shelf of cool, cool stuff, including Aerosmith, Shania Twain. I mean, look at me jumping around already. It's all over the place. <laughs> Ice Cube, and probably the coolest pop ride ever made. Ice Cube in his, in his caddy, and it's like leaned up on one side. And that is how the figure is, right? Leaned up like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's not broken. That's, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, salt and Pepper, uh, More Notorious B.I.G., James Brown, ZZ Top, Tupac, Lil Wayne, and a brand new thing that's blown up on social for us. I'm excited about this. Albums line. Pop albums retail on this only gonna be 15 bucks. That's crazy. Which is mind boggling to me. I would think this is like a $30 item. These are hard plastic shells that look like the album cover with a figure and they'll be made to hang on the wall. Whoa. So at some point you can hang all your albums up on the wall and have That's them great. displayed. Now I have a question. Because this is new pop albums, will this then turn into more of them coming in the future? We hope. I mean, like okay. anything else that right, of course. Does, we put a little bit out there, we see what the response is. If it's good, we keep going. But when we put this on social, there weren't negative comments. It was all positive comments like, yeah, and here's 18 other albums I want you to do. Oh. Which is great because it that solves a bunch of work for us. I have a couple in mind that you could probably do. Done. No, no, not now. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry. Of course we'll listen. We're listening to everybody. <laughs> uh, moving along, we've got TV, and I, some of my favorites are right here. I'll start at the top, and then I'll get super excited when Sounds we get down good. here to the bottom. Uh, Will and Grace, The Office. This yes. is another prime example of how we listen to fans. When we this. put out the first waves of The Office, everybody's like, those are great, but why didn't you make 
Yes. Those are all here on the shelf. Everything that people were screaming at us, we were making. We got Stanley in his vacation out there. We got we got uh, Kevin with the chili. Love we it. got the Dwight holding the mold with the uh, with the stapler in there. <laughs> uh, we've got Meredith in a compromising situation that's been pixelated. The first pixelated Funko Pop. Kelly in her jean, like whatever that is. Is it a onesie? I don't know what you call it. Jumper. Maybe yeah. I think so. They're awesome. So we got the office coming, more office coming, and if people keep buying it, hopefully more after this. I hope we'll so. See. Uh, Miami Vice, Magnum PI. Yeah, that's not Ron Swanson. No, that's close. Magnum PI, Cobra Kai, Creep Show, Dinosaurs. Love that. I, people are really responding well to dinosaurs, which is awesome. <laughs> One of my favorites from this year, actually. I don't know why I love this. Um, actually, I, I'm going a little off topic here, but there was a remix of that with the Notorious B.I.G.'s, uh, and then it was him on. I don't know. I thought it was funny. He's like, I'll play a clip right now if you guys want to see it. But I thought it was really funny. And you can reenact that with the pops that we have in <laughs> yes. two different areas. Pull it together. <laughs> That's awesome. My personal favorite, if I can only have one thing from the show, new Masters of the Universe. Yes. I'm a hardcore collector. That's one of the things that got me into Funko. Love it. So we're finally going to get the Sorceress and He-Man on Battle Cat and some other more obscure characters. The hardcore fans get it. But more importantly than anything else, a 10-inch Skeletor. That's great. I'm hoping 18 inch next, and then maybe a full size statue for the house, whatever it takes. <laughs> Star Trek Discovery, can't overlook yes. it. We only got one character on display here, but we will be doing more. Fantastic. Of course. There should be more Star Trek in the world. I agree. Uh, moving along, we've got over here uh, TV. So, again, there's a bunch of stuff that's out right now, like Black Mirror, Umbrella Academy, just now hitting shelves, The Simpsons. But then we got some new ones on the way, including Wallace and Gromit, Ooh. Arthur, and a Flintstones Pop Town. Love that. Oh, it's such good art. And we'll make great for great photographs. Great detail as well yeah. in that. That is also a hand paint. Very heavy. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we've got the Master Toy License still for Rick and Morty and Five Nights at Freddy's. Of course, Rick and Morty has been extended for several more seasons, so there's not going to be an end to what we do there. That's perfect. And Five Nights at Freddy's apparently has something new coming. Oh. I, I haven't heard. I to tell that. Uh, but Exclusive. But that probably a lot more product. I hope so. Going around the corner here, we've got DC. And of course, yeah, you got to take a minute to look at this bad boy. 18 inch Batman, our very first 18 inch figure. You got one of those? I have one on display at my office. It's nice. great. It's, it, love it. That's a teaser to watch all the other videos. Did you do an unboxing of that one? Uh, we did, I believe. I did go. smallest to tallest Funko Pop. Go watch it. Show them all off. Check it out. Uh, over here we got more DC. Uh, of course, we're representing WW84, Wonder Woman 84, uh, Birds of Prey, which is on shelf now. And then at the top, in the center, another thing that I'm probably second most excited about in the show Love is it. Batman, 89 Batman, Batman Forever, Batman Returns. Some of the most iconic characters in film over the last 20, 30 years. Of course. You got Danny DeVito's Penguin, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, Jack Nicholson's Joker. I mean, Jeez. people have been asking for these as long as I've worked at Funko, and it gets no better than the artwork we got here. I mean, honestly, I think it was worth the wait. I agree. It's amazing artwork. 100%. Oh, now, there, there was a Dorb set of those, wasn't there, a long we time ago? We did Dorbs. I remember there was a three-pack. Of, uh, of the Joker. Yeah. And Penguin. What was the third one? I don't remember. Maybe Batman? Might, Might have been, been Batman. I mean, that would make sense. We've I mean, done, a, we've I think done so. Batman once or twice. Not a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, but we're doing them in pop, which that's what people Looks are asking great. for, and that's what we've delivered. Uh, and then if you look at the top there, we've got our new pop pins line. Yes. Which, I, what I always like to point out is the uh, pop pin box is the same size. As a pop box. As a pop box in height and width. That's great. And exactly half the depth. Hmm. So you can put two in a pop stacker or a pop protector. That's smart. Back to back to show them off. Sweet. This line's awesome. These are uh, main lines, and then there will be chase pieces as well. Like the Joker that's kind of hidden uh -huh. in the back there. I saw that while I was there. I was wondering what that was. At least I hope they're chase pieces. That's what I keep telling people. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> if it's not a chase piece, don't don't talk to me. <laughs> uh, and we got a 10-inch Joker from Dark Knight, which we made the regular size pop years ago. Oh yes. And I think it's awesome that we translated that to a 10-inch figure because it looks amazing. And it's almost I would say a little smaller, but almost a full-size playing card. It's getting there. Almost. I'm getting there. Yeah, once we do an 18-inch one of those, not yes, confirmed. that'd not be cool. Confirmed. That would be cool. <laughs> Uh, we also have something new we're uh, are displaying here at the show. First time went out today on our social channels. It's Pop Candy. We actually have a candy company now. So we're manufacturing these cool vinyl figures. They're clear plastic, and they've got candy inside cool. of them. So you can open up, I believe, from the bottom, eat the candy out, and then you've got a just a clear figure That's that crazy. is still in pop form. And it looks uh, very much like the old pop. Wonder Nice. Yeah. 
I think those are going to be great. Uh, I'm excited about those them. for DC and for Marvel. Marvel, we've got Hulk, Iron Man, and Captain America. Hmm. And you'll notice the candies are in the color that would match the character. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There you go. That looks great. That was your tidbit for the day. <laughs> Over in gaming, we've got, once again, a lot of things you've already seen, like Apex Legends, Warhammer, uh, PUBG, but now we also have Rage 2. Oh, yeah. Which, I don't know if those are on shelf yet, but the game's fun. I played it at E3. Really cool characters. Hmm. And Guild Wars and Dungeons and & Dragons. Oh, yeah. Dungeons & Dragons is just hot. People are loving that. We even got that cool gelatinous cube coming yes. from Real City Comic Con. That's exciting. Amazing. You guys buy that, you'll probably make more. Uh, and then behind me, a lot of Fortnite. You guys have seen Fortnite, but we do have another YouTube celebrity. In here. YouTube, uh, Twitch, wherever he's at now. Mixer. Mixer. The Ninja. No box. It'd be easy to skip over him, but that is the streamer Ninja. Love that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You, if you change the hair color, that could be you. <laughs> they do sell the wig at Target. There you go. Hey. <laughs> uh, Contra, one of my personal favorites. I love it. Cyberpunk 2077 coming later this year. and We've got those hand so paints anyway. out. And then the new Marvel mm -hmm. Avengers game. This is not from the MCU and from the movies. This is the game. So a lot of people are asking, why does Thor look like he's bald? Or why does Hulk <laughs> look different? Well, because it's based on the game, not the movie. Right. Wow. And then, I think you could probably speak to this way better than I could. What about Pokemon? Love it. There's so many new ones coming out. I think they're great. Cubone looks great. I mean, this is now the fourth Pikachu pop, I believe, yep. if you're including the 10-inch. Um, that is the angry Pikachu. I don't know what exactly what the emotion is, but I'm yep. pretty sure it's angry Pikachu. There's also Pichu, Mr. Mime, uh, Mewtwo, Eevee. All of these look so great. I don't know why, but like Pokemon is my favorite line probably in a long time. Yep. I've got, I think, every single one now, and I've got most of them pre-ordered and ready to go for the collection. Um, but yeah, I really like Growlithe. I already have this one pre-ordered, the 10-inch version of it. Yep. Um, there's so many new ones coming out. I'm just so excited about it. I think this is a prime example of when we make something. We'll make, we just made a couple to start with. Right. Uh, and it really took off and fans loved it. We made variants of them. And now we're getting to continue that line because not only do the fans love it, but the folks at Pokemon clearly love it too. And they're of course. Us to do more. They look great. There might be a couple more characters we could do in the Pokemon line. Or like 400. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. There's a lot. Uh, moving on down, we've uh, got Overwatch on display. A lot of oh, this yeah. is out right now, uh, but you might notice these minis with the window in the front. Uh, something that we've done more now instead of mystery minis, right. or just vinyl minis, where you actually get to pick the character that you want instead of uh, waiting for the mystery. Smart. Rooted hair troll dolls. Troll pops. So yes. Not dolls. Troll dolls are the things they're based on. Uh, these are amazing. Uh, at the office, we absolutely love them. And just, you can't look at them without doing that. If I could get us to make a statue of this, it would happen. Yeah, I, look at the rainbow. I haven't felt the 10 inch one yet. This is this is crazy. That's a lot of hair. And there is a chase version of this one as well, right? Yeah, I believe the so. The body is rainbow. And then the hair's white. Yeah. And now these ones too as well. I noticed that they're kind of on a different um, joint for the head. I don't know. I, I don't know. They sure I noticed are? this. I believe it's more of like a ball joint. I thought it was kind of cool. Interesting. Um, I pointed it out in a video one time. For balance. Yeah, I don't know. Because some of them, they don't stand when it's back, but when you lean it forward a little bit, it stands nicer. I don't know. You know what it is? It's because if wind catches the hair, it yeah. might pull it over. The whole thing that way the head can just tilt yeah, back yeah. a little bit. I love it. I like to call this the party row here, because if I were going to go to a crazy party, these are the people that I'd want there. Uh, Farrah Fawcett in her uh, bathing suit from the poster, the famous poster, Guy Fieri, Marilyn Monroe, and Smokey Bear. Oh, I didn't know you were counting Smokey there for the party. Oh, he'll, he'll be there too. You know, if someone's got to prevent forest fires. Uh, and then pop, uh, add icons, and line still growing. Love it. These are all out now with, I think Morton Salt Girl is just starting to hit. I just got her. Did you? I just picked her up. Amazing mold. When I heard we're doing Morton Salt Girl, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I love that figure. It's maybe one of the best ones yet. Some people, I did see some people are saying best of 2020. I know. And it's pretty early That's in the a, year. It's a bold early season. I agree. Uh, over here, we've got uh, directors, we've got Pop Pez, uh, Pop Pez Pops, yes. and then just revealed Archie Comics, mm. which we did Riverdale, but I know we definitely had, uh, like, Reese on our team loves Archie. Of course. I, I have a feeling he had a hand in that. <laughs> and then we've got an entire wall of sports. We're continuing with MLB, NFL, NHL, college mascots, WWE. We even got golf. Tiger Woods, y'all. Love that. Uh, and then, uh, we got a little jump down here for this, but I think some of the most amazing molds ever to come out of Funko. We've got the U.S. Women's National Team. And look at those action poses. They've got some great amazing. detail. I know you're in Canada. I know. But you can appreciate the detail on I this. did watch. <laughs> there so. you go. You know what it's about. Oh, yeah. 
And then we're continuing on, we're going to do a lot of Michael Jordan. Of course, we did the regular comp where he's flying. We got the, uh, the 10 inch. Of course. And then we've got his uh, University of North Carolina, his UNC blue colors. Uh, we've had some exclusives on those, some variants. Mm -hmm. Who knows if that's the end or there might be more, not confirming anything. Uh, but lots of fun stuff. I, I talk about music being one of our fastest growing categories. Yes. Something, but anime has hands Whoa. down been the fastest growing. We've got some amazing stuff over here. My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, we've got a cool Sanrio, My Hero Academia yes. mashup. I like that. That'll be out in April. Uh, we've got uh, Dragon Prince, Evangelion, uh, down on the end, Legend of Korra. Oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh, Naruto, Baruto. <laughs> I'm learning all these names. Eventually, I'm going to get into it all. I did the Dragon Ball, of course. That My Hero Academia just been hot. Just been, just been burning up. Yes. It's amazing. And then, down on the end, Speed Racer. Oh, I love that set. Amazing. Love you it. get the pop and the pop ride with yes. Speed Racer. Just, just tremendous. They look great. And on the other side, we've got Star Wars. Let's yes. Because we got some cool stuff in Star Wars. Sure. So we recently announced our Birds of Prey line, which is apparently popular. <laughs> sure does look like it. Is this the first time you're just playing the Baby Yoda? Oh, well, or, well, the yep. child? You could, could I, say. I, I, I keep catching myself doing that. Well, everybody does it, uh, but we had to put the child on the box. Ah, My I fear wish. was they would say, put it on the box, and then they would give the name at the end of the series, and everybody would oh, be yeah. like, you put the child, we know the name. Huh? Didn't happen. It's still the child. So not only do we have the uh, the regular pop size, it's in a sideways box because he's got some wingspan. Yes. We got the 10-inch, the child. Is it bigger than life size? I think it's bigger than life size. I want to know what that box is going to look like. I, me too. Because they even have the wider ones. I feel like that's wider than the wide boxes. I think maybe. S oh, maybe yeah. Box size? Right, right. I can't take credit for that. Somebody else told me. We've got uh, pop pins continuing the Star Wars. Love that one. One other thing about the uh, Star Wars pops is we are required to make them bobbleheads. So right. Like the child is bobblehead. We've got this cool dark. Yeah, that right there. That is chamber and the oh. head. Still bobbles. I didn't even notice the helmet up there. I took a look at that one earlier. I didn't know the helmet was there. So cool. That's cool. Well, just when you think we've done it all, we find something like that that's a must have. Uh, we're doing the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. Yes. One thing that fans have been asking for as long as I've been a fan of Funko was can we get on and carbonate? I was going to mention that. We got it. And it, although it is a minimal bobble, it does bobble. It is, there's a little bobble in there <laughs> because it's required. Just enough. How did they do that? I don't know. The artists are amazing. Oh. In addition to the child, one of my favorite things would be sight, lights and sounds. Start yes. I have a Disney creative. I don't have any. Yeah. That is crazy cool. So amazing. And of course, these are out now, but The Mandalorian, the show just took off on Disney+. Plus. It is, it is straight fire, and we've done so many characters from the show. I agree. And I'm sure there's more we could do any day now. Not confirmed. No. Of course not. So here we are over in uh, Disney area. We've got a two-sided table. Nice. Again, I keep saying this over and over again, but we brought a product that's already out, and we've also got some new stuff. We got a first look at Onward Pops. Uh, you've seen the renderings, but this is the first time we're seeing them in person with the actual figures. Right. Live action Mulan and Soul. I did not see these at all until we got here to the show. Upcoming no. film. I think they look amazing, uh, as well as those pop pins for yes, Pixar. Yes, those are exciting. There is a character missing. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping happens at some point. Uh, but you get a really good representation, too, of Mainline. And look at that amazing chase on the alien. Love that. Isn't that cool? I'm excited about those, for sure. And the fact that they have the kickstands is really yes. cool. So you don't have to leave them in the box. You can take them out and have them on your desk. And if you put them next to a pop... It's about the same size. size. yeah. Just well, I mean, it does come in a pop-sized box. It makes exactly. sense. So we've got, uh, of course, on we got Frozen 2. We've got Mulan Cartoon in addition to the uh, to the live action. And then we got some really cool stuff from Loungefly. Loungefly is a, is a bag company, if you will. They make uh, mini backpacks, purses, wallets that Funko owns. You guys have probably seen it. I am. Making some amazing new stuff for Cinderella. And we've got Cinderella's Carriage Pop mm -hmm. Ride, which, wow, I, just so cool. This is uh, one of the coolest pop rides we've ever done. I agree. And then you compare Cinderella right next to it. Not bad. And on the other side, we've got uh, even more, including a bunch of these new pins and patches oh. that Loungefly is doing. You see the individual pins, enamel pins. These have the glitter. But then there's also going to be some of these that are uh, enamel pin sets, wow. as well as patches. Here's some of the other patches on the shelf. Uh, some cool stuff they're doing. So you can take a jean jacket or a bag or whatever and make it your own. I can see this being a, a popular thing at the parks. I mean, the pin program already is big for Disney. Right. And now, now we have them through Loungefly as well. So over on this side, we're continuing Disney. 
a lot of this product out already, but we do have some cool new things. I personally love Elvis Stitch. I agree. And we got the Elvis Stitch back mini backpack oh, and the Elvis Stitch that. wallet. Isn't that awesome? It looks great. I can barely get a mini backpack over my shoulders, <laughs> but sometimes it's worth doing, you know? Uh, we've got a new Little Mermaid backpack, more of the pins I was talking about, and this is super cool. Uh, this is a lady's handbag, but there's also a mini mm. backpack at the end. We've got a bag now made specifically for uh, displaying your enamel pins. Wow. It's got holes built in all throughout, so you don't have to tear up the material or the leather. Oh, Put that's it nice. Put there, backer on the inside. I'd recommend locking backers so you keep your pins. But also, you'll notice the bag comes with a cool little gold Ooh. crown, a Funko oh, crown. Hmm. And the, uh, there's a mini backpack over on that side that has a silver crown. Nice. So over here, we've got our new Funko Soda line. There's a giant figure of Skeletor up at the front, you know, not the actual cane you'll get for home. I wish. Uh, but really, there's so many cool things about these. These are aimed at collectors who really, really are into Funko and vinyl figures. These metal cans, actual metal cans, just like you would get a soda in, but there is no liquid in there. People have actually asked that. They're afraid they're gonna have to pull a vinyl figure out of liquid. <laughs> That's not the case. The whole top comes off real easy. It actually does come off easy. And there will be a, a, one of these vinyl figures inside the can. <laughs> but then you can always seal it back up if you want to. And you can even make that your display and set your figure on top. All the uh, cans come with a little uh, sticker that's actually printed on there that indicates the entire run for that figure. So for this Ooh. Batman, there will only be 10,000. That's exciting. For this Batfink, 5,000. That's it. Then we move on and we do something else. But each of the cans comes with a figure and a little collectible disc in there that lets you know which figure you got and if you were lucky enough to find yeah. There are chase figures for these. So this is, if you were to pull this particular figure out, one of only 800 in existence. I did pull that one. I got that one. Oh, I was lucky. Ones. Yes. <laughs> but that's so awesome because unlike our pop figures that have a chase sticker on the front and right. you just see that sitting on the shelf, you have to purchase this, unwrap, take the lid off, and find out if you got the chase or the regular one. Right. So it's up to you how many you want to buy before you get the chase, which ones you want to focus on. Uh, this is like the first three waves represented here on this table and in this refrigerator. But they'll be getting switched out regularly as we sell these out. Again, they're limited figures distributed all over the world. Right. So imagine how long does 5,000 last before it's gone? Pretty quick. It's going to go really quick. So these figures that you see, we've got Big Boy, we've got Motu or Masters of the Universe, we've got Batman and Robin, we've got Huckleberry Hound, we've got Fred Flintstone and Barney, Wonder Woman, Thundercats, and a few others. Those are the first few waves, and those will be gone in a matter of months. And then we'll be on to something else. I've heard we've got movies and music and sports coming. That's well. exciting. So hopefully some of the licenses are represented on the wall we just went through and here in the booth will eventually be part of the soda line. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're really amazing. I love the art that was done on these very retro, not only in the figures themselves, but on the cans, the packaging. Very, very retro. And we even have this cool soda machine. Uh, it doesn't need to be cool because there's no actual drink soda in there. But I think it looks really cool that we just made it. It's great. Do you have a favorite? I, I don't know, to be honest. There's so many different ones. I have, um, out of looking at all of these, probably like Grape Ape or one of the Fred and Barneys. Because, you know, the, the, the Pops, you know, there aren't too many of those anymore, especially with those ones. So it'd be cool. That's nice to get it in a different line and yep. like a fresh style as well. I really dig the Motu. Yes. Motu guy, but Count Jack is pretty awesome. All right, so uh, we're over here on the, on the back side of the Marvel table. Yes. We, we've got in-game is out of retail. We've got Marvel 80. Still one of my favorite lines just because everyone features the first appearance comic oh, book yes. on the back. Aren't those cool? I love that. And I love that the, the embossing of the silver and the gold on the packaging. Some great figures. I actually got out of box the uh, pop, pocket, pocket pop advent calendar. <laughs> it's a tongue, it's a tongue twister. twister. Pocket pop advent calendar. Uh, showing some of the figures and somebody got cute with the display. I really love this. Spidey's actually hanging upside down which is fun. Looks great. Uh, but over here we've got hands down one of the coolest pieces, I know I've said that eight times right now. Uh, we've got the Valkyrie yes. on her steed, on her wing. I love that. It's course. got so much detail. Oh, I was fighting them because it says in game there, and I'm like, come on, that's a Thor Ragnarok thing. I forgot the big battle at the end. It does happen, yeah. So, technically in game. It's more of the pop pins, including Thor, Thanos, and over there, Iron we've got Man. Iron Man. And there are two really cool things on this side. And of course, Ooh. the pins are. Sorry, cool. I just wanted to show it off. That works good. perfect with that metal. I and love you'll that. notice he's number one. Ooh. Right? There's two really cool things over here. Uh, first is this mini backpack featuring the gauntlet, the Iron Man version of the gauntlet, right? The red. But if you look over on the side, it's, it's going to be an emotional moment. Ooh. 
right in the feels. That's nice, though. It's, it's, so it's a nice cool. little addition to the bag as well. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And, I mean, you, you'll see that, right? I, I think I saw it. You saw it, right? I did. It's kind of hidden. If somebody's wearing it, they're not going to see it, but on the back. Worthy. Oh, that's so awesome. It's just a great touch. It just shows I you that how the, the folks at Lounge Five that are doing the art, they get it. They really get the fan. That's great. And then, oh, yeah, this one. Tony's little trophy that he got from Pepper Potts. Oh, yeah. Featuring his, uh, his energy source. Not his flux capacitor. I was going to no. say flux capacitor. I am, yeah, yeah. Wrong fandom. <laughs> and then our, our final area is the front side of the marble table, which features some of our newer marble products. Uh, one of the most exciting being the Venomize line. Oh, we yes. The first wave of those took off real well, so we did more. We got, like, Doctor Strange, Thanos, and Daredevil. Uh, just amazing artwork on those. I love the team it. killed it, as always. Mystery minis, some very cool yes. minimized mystery minis. I, people are going nuts over those, unlike a lot of mystery mini meat waves before. Like, I've seen people mm. buying entire, entire PDQs to open them all up. Really? I saw one guy online say uh, that he had gotten his dad into collecting mystery minis with him, and he came home to find a PDQ sitting there with a note that says, wait till I get home so we can <laughs> open these up. And I thought that was great. Uh, we've got the pot of candy featuring uh, Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America. Great three. Pop pins like Loki and the Chase Loki. All, all gold. There. Love Maybe that. Maybe the only gold uh, Loki I own. And then Fantastic Four and finally Black Widow for the new upcoming film uh, featuring, I think there's six or seven different pops for that line. That's a good one. If people wanted more Black Widow, well, they're getting it. They're doing several different versions from the movie. I think yes. that's going to be amazing. All right, guys, well, that was the entire Funko booth here at Toy Fair 2020. Thank you, Sully, so much for showing us around and showing us pretty much everything in great detail. Um, so many small things that I didn't notice when I was going around, um, but you did notice them and point them out, and I think everything looks amazing this year. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Part of I mean, I could throw it in at the end. If you made it to the outro, don't forget to subscribe.